Is someone singing? It's beautiful. as ever. All as well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Please. Can't give up now. What's up for discussion? with magic, a harpy's charm. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. No, no, it's just a bit of water. Damned monster. I'll make you pay.
take you. Stay idle. Finding my way. Still on my feet.
What's in here? Let's get going. I'll feel that one later. what those harpies were hoarding.
I see. I just that. Think you could stand back a ways, pal? I'm fishing for chumps here. are going to get us killed. Nothing sacred about this lot. There is work to do. All right. What now? There are important matters to discuss. Moving ahead. Not this one. Nor this one, and this one a less worthy still. I riddle thee not. I speak only what requires telling. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Finally, some good fortune. Come morning, we know what to do. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Really? I'd just kill you. Anyway, get some rest. Try not to dream about tying me up. You know, I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid, will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? <laughs> Why not? You've been to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not normally impressed by people of your stature, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Yes, we're more similar than I thought. Um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. 
The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. Yes. Rocky bodies named after a false goddess. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Kalea. Do you think me so sheltered? My entire clutch battled beholders deep within the eye of the sky. We infiltrated a Niyogi spell jammer and laid waste to its crew. The tears span Toril Sky Venisk. There is more to this realm than this grassy pebble. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. I need a quick word. A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Courage in danger shadow. I love to see it. But shouldn't the shadow have crept closer? Gone darker by now? Before the Elithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. Well met. Never a dull moment. Die, my metaphorical. 